In this video, we're going to focus on how we can restrict our X scale so we have a specific date where we start with and we could even control the specific ending date. So we have a restriction of, for example, a full month like this. So let's start to look how we can start at a specific date in the X scale. So we have here our border template and to get this border template, please check out my uh, this specific link here, chartgestry.com, getting started. Once you scroll down, copy this chunk of code here. Next, if you want to support my channel, check out my Patreon page here, where you also have access to the source code of this video and many others. So what we're going to do is, first of all, convert it into a line chart. That was a specific item. So we're going to say here in the type bar, line, refresh. There we are. So then what I want to do here is convert the dates here, or convert this into a date. So I'm going to scroll up here. And just say here 2023 on one we can just copy all of this put in them all in here and then i will just change them so this will be one two three four five six and here seven so if i save this right now it works but this is just a string value i want to convert this now into a date to do this, I need a date adapter in Chart.js. So to find this, we go to Chart.js.com here. And then once we're on this site, Chart.js.org, click here on Ecosystem, and I'm going to search for the specific adapter. So once you're on here, just select here the adapter. So I'm going to search for the date adapter. I will, I will take this one specifically here. You can take any of those, but you have to follow their instructions if ever. I prefer this one because this requires only one JavaScript to add. So I'm going to scroll down here and just grab this specific date adapter. You can see a date FNS bundle. So we're going to grab that one. And then I'll put it here between save that refresh. Of course, nothing happens because I need to convert this into a date now. So what I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to work on the X scale and I'm going to say here, um, type will be equal to uh, time that is the adapter and then we're going to say time and that could be the, that or that is the object and then the time here will be a unit of day so if i save this refresh all right so now we have all of those but i want to start for example now whatever is today or any day so to do this i'm going to say a minimum or min where we can put in here a specific date. Let's say we want to have here to start from April. So we say 0401. Save that. Refresh. Oh, and of course, make sure we have a comma here. So we have to make put a, put a comma there, save, refresh. And there we are. Now we're starting from April 1. Of course, we could do it max. And with the max, we can restrict how many months or how many days or what is the very maximum value. So for example, this case, we want to so we'll have it till the 5th, well, till May. So refresh, now we have a single month being focused. And that's it, as you can see here, April and this one is May.